welcome to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition. I'm your host, Melanie Kingett, and I'll be your guide to scoring a five. Here at the Absolute Recap, we aim to maximize your understanding and minimize your need for memorization. Each episode will review content, skills, and test-taking tips to help you succeed in May. Your recap starts now. Hi, and welcome to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition. Today's episode will recap the 2020 AP Bio exam experience. Let's zoom out. May 18th was the big day. 243,351 students logged in to take the AP Biology exam, with 7% not completing and less than 1% of students reporting an error. But despite any technical snafus you may have experienced, Some things are for certain. The College Board sure put you through the ringer. Today's episode will recap the exam experience and answer some frequently asked questions. Let's zoom in. The AP Biology exam was Monday, May 18th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It was taken at the exact same time by students all over the world. The exam was FRQ only and covered units one through six. The first FRQ was about interpreting and evaluating experimental results and will account for 65% of your score. The second FRQ was 15 minutes long, accounts for 35% of your score, and was about conceptual analysis. The timer feature worked as a countdown, flashing red when the five minute upload window began. There were three submission options. You could upload a file, either text or photo, copy and paste your response, or with a Hail Mary announcement by the College Board on May 17th, email your response if the submissions fail. The email option was only available to students testing between May 18th and the 22nd and will be a choice during the late testing period as well. The email instructions were on the we did not receive your response page and the email address that appeared was unique to each student. The College Board promised test security and they meant it. In addition to asking identification questions before the test to prove you weren't a robot, there were several efforts made on social media platforms for and during testing to thwart cheating. Your answers were checked with plagiarism software, among others, and were sent to your teacher for reference on May 26th. On top of all that, there were several different versions of each question with a myriad of combinations. But how can that possibly be fair? So-and-so likely got an easier question than you. Does that mean they will get a better score? Let's dive in. The AP exams will still be scored on a one through five scale, and the College Board still intends to release the scores beginning on July 15th. They have spoken with hundreds of colleges across the country and are confident that the majority of higher education institutions will continue to award credit as they have in the past. No, the AP exams are not curved, nor is there a cap on how many students can earn fives. They have stated that you do not have to have answered every part of every question to earn a five. But in truth, the scoring guides for each FRQ have not been finalized, and that's intentional. Several thousand student responses will be checked during AP reading to verify the validity of the scoring guides before applying it to the larger testing population and about the unfair advantage of an easier question versus a harder one. Just as in previous years, psychometricians will analyze student data from every version of the exam to quantify any variations in difficulty. The number of points required for threes, fours, and fives are determined separately for each exam version. Essentially, you will need to earn more more points on an easier version and less points on a harder version to earn the same total score. So it's all tomato, tomato in the end. The FRQs from test day have not been released to the public, so we won't be discussing them on this episode, but it can be acknowledged that they were long. I know, it may feel like a bait and switch, but the points are still earned the same way. The originally stated four part A, B, C, and D was just as long in theory, although visually it looked more compact. But if you looked closely, part A likely had three different task verbs in it, maybe describe, explain, and predict. The version you may have seen on test day simply had these action verbs separated out, which is why your question may have had A through J instead. As stated previously, your teachers are able to view your text and photo submissions from the primary testing window 
window. If you use the email submission option, those are not yet available for preview. If your teacher identifies an unintentional submission issue, like a missing or blurry page, you may qualify for the newly announced exception testing window. This third round of testing will occur at the end of June, with the AP Bio exam scheduled for Monday, June 29th at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. The exception testing request form is available June 1st through June 7th and requires an AP Makeup request key that is on your most recent e-ticket. Other reasons to request exception testing are technical issues, illness, or having two makeup exams scheduled at the same time. Who knows? Maybe third time is a charm. To recap, no matter your testing experience on AP exams, you have much to be proud of. If you are completing a makeup or exception test, remember to get your e-ticket two days in advance, prep your testing space, and take a deep breath. Coming up next on the Absolute Recap Biology Edition, Natural Selection. Today's question of the day is about college credit. What AP score do you need to receive college credit? For the answer to today's and future questions, please follow us on Instagram at the Absolute Recap. That's the A-P-S-O-L-U-T-E Recap. If you are a student with questions or a teacher with suggestions, we'd love to hear from you. If you have a biology topic or another AP subject you would like us to cover on the Absolute Recap, please email us at theabsoluterecap at gmail.com. That's the A-P-S-O-L-U-T-E recap at gmail.com. The Absolute Recap is produced by Brad Kingett with music by Zach Caruso. Please remember to rate, review, and subscribe wherever you get podcasts. Time's up, pencils down. Thank you for listening to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition. AP is a registered trademark of the College Board. Copyright 2020, Absolute Recap, LLC, all rights reserved.